Hey guys, Alan here. We are here in Cologne, Germany for the Tire Cologne, which is a tire show here based in Germany. Um, yeah, we're, we're signing a new tire brand today, so I'm quite excited about it. Um, so yeah, let's go. Let's beat them and uh, yeah, let's get you going. of our journey uh, we've arrived back in Ireland from and we flew in from Germany to Cologne so that's where we were we were at the tire Cologne uh, we visited a V2 tire we will be running our semi slick um, V2 to Pesta Enzo um, and I'm very very excited by that actually because it's it's a Remember, there's a jack in the boot. <laughs> I'm trying to finish the video here, and I'm trying to hold my ice cream. I've been hiccuping for nearly 100 kilometers. I know. So yeah, I'm very, very excited by it. Um, the tire looks amazing. So yeah, we're looking forward to it. Hopefully, we'll have them soon, and then we can yeah try and eat up the rest of the competition. Uh, for me. It means a lot, you know, having to not worry about tyres as such is something I've always dreamt of because it's the really big cost of, of of running or maintaining a car, other than fuel. Fuel is actually not that expensive in, in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, no, it's it's great for us and it's a great help and uh, really happy to have you two on board. It's uh, something I've kind of dreamt about when it comes to tyres and stuff, so yeah, pretty awesome. Uh, I'll probably throw in some clips of what the tire looks like right here somewhere. But uh, yeah, let me know. Let me know what you guys think of the tire. It looks, in my opinion, I think it looks pretty awesome. Please stop hiccuping. I'm trying to do a video here. You shouldn't be driving and doing a video I'm, at the same time. I'm not driving. You're the one driving. <laughs> so yeah, if you're thinking about attending an IDC event, Irish Shift Championship event, make sure you use my uh, driver code AH37. Uh, there's a link down below where you can purchase tickets and where you can use that code. Helps me out a lot. It gets it gives me five euros per uh, driver code entry, and um, yeah, other than that, hope you enjoy this kind of video. Slightly different, maybe a little bit shorter than usual, but uh, it was a bit of fun to make. So, all right, guys, thanks. See you. Thanks. Psych. Okay, it's not really finished right now. Uh, this video, but there's a reason. Okay. So when I when we flew to Germany, I was aware I was going to miss the first round of the oh, 
Drift Corner Grand Prix. Uh, Drift Corner Grand Prix is an eSports comp drift competition that I compete in. And last season I finished second overall and I missed two of it. So I really wanted to make it, but going to Germany and sending a veto was very, very important to us. So I had the intentions of skipping this event. However, uh, I got back last night at 10 o'clock, managed to make my qualifying run. Uh, did two practice runs, went into the, my group for qualifying, scored a zero in the first run, qualified 10th in the second. So we're in for top 32 action and it's next day now. So uh, my top 32 battle is up against Ab Abdulaziz. Then we went up against Dominic Blair. And now we're about to head in for a battle uh, for the top base against Roland. And uh, whoever wins this battle goes straight into the top four. So this is kind of important for me to try and get some good championship points heading for the rest of the season. As you may see already, the S14 in the game has actually the full livery and it's even got the V2 logos on, on the car. So that's kind of like a bit of a sneak peek of what the Project Academy, the real Project Academy S14 is going to look like in a few weeks' time. Right, okay, wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, so um, we just finished third overall. Um, kind of, I kind of forgot to record some of the clips earlier. So what happened was we won our battle against Roland. It was a great battle. I think he made a little bit of contact on his chase run, um, and in my chase run, I made a huge mistake on entry, and it was just very, very messy. I think I was quite lucky to get that. Um, and he also put three wheels over the, the 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 zone on the roundabout is what we call it, which is the kind of loop back around. Anyway. So then we went up against Ericus Jerkus in the top four. Uh, Ericus finished fourth last year, uh, last season, should I say. And uh, yeah, he's a great driver. Um, he ended up getting the win after one more time. Um, on my first, the first lead run, I had pulled a bit of a gap. It was enough to, to take an advantage, I think, or just a, or an even, maybe a 5-5 or something. Then on my chase run, was very, very close. I kind of tapped him on the first transition, which apparently, well, actually did mess him up for the corner. And uh, then he protested, saying that because of that, he couldn't continue the drift. So then he went one more time. On my lead run, again, he was all over me, much, much closer this time. Um, definitely took the advantage. On my chase run, um, followed the best I could. And then uh, going into the roundabout, or leaving the roundabout, I felt that he carried a little bit too much angle, which then kind of prevented me from transitioning. Um, then again, I kind of had messed up going into the roundabout, so not sure if it was that or, or the angle he was carrying, but essentially I ended up straightening up slightly, 
and again transitioning into the second last corner I don't even know what corner it is there's so many corners in this track it's impossible to figure out where you're talking about but uh, again he carried a little bit too much angle in my opinion and he kind of caught me against the wall so I had no room to transition um, so then yeah I slightly straightened up again no big deal so he ends up going to win he ended up going to the finals I then went to the third fourth playoff against my Irish buddy Kyle Woods and Kyle ended up crashing twice like come on Kyle what are you doing he ended up crashing twice he made life easy for me like I even said to him make it hard <laughs> so yeah we went up against Kyle he ended up uh, spinning twice or crashing twice um, and I ended up taking third place so thank you Kyle for making life easy for me but next time please don't be so easy man just just go 100% and don't crash <sighs> silly people <laughs> Alright guys, uh, this time I'm actually ending it, so bye.